Let's jump into the email with K9 Trainer 2. She's back. You remember that song? He's back. There the man behind the mask. And he's out of control. It's cringe. Do you know that song? Anybody know who does it? Comment it down below, but don't cheat on Google. Don't cheat. All right. So this is what K9 Trainer 2 Michelle had to say. Hey, Pete, I wanted to share this with you. I woke up to a violation in my account and I'm like, WTF? Because I always stand at the door and take a photo of anything I deliver from the DoorDash app. And let me just pause for a second. You absolutely should always be doing that. We live in a very different time. You need to take those pictures. You just have to. I had a few cranky ass customers the last few days who are just miserable all around. So I was thinking, well, maybe they just want to get their money back, etc. I called DoorDash and she said, there's a glitch in the system. I asked, is that why the entire map is gray? She said, yes. This is another reason why I have a dash cam. I had dashed in West Virginia and Ohio, wheeling on Friday and Saturday night. Then Sunday, dashed back in my zone in Washington slash Thompsonville, Pennsylvania. Just giving a heads up because if anyone gets this call, uh, if anyone gets this call DoorDash as soon as possible, do the footwork to double check. Thanks, Pete, K9 Trainer 2, Michelle. Now, this, of course, she shows the attachment. Customer reported order never arrived. Of course. So, Michelle, I don't know if you've been listening to a lot of the videos that I've been making lately in the past couple months. I know you've been commenting quite a bit, but you may have missed a couple. This has been an ongoing issue, okay? And I'll be honest with you. When you called and said uh, that the DoorDash rep said that there was a glitch in the system, there's no glitch in the system that I know of. This is customers committing fraud, okay? That's just, it's as simple as that. And then when you said, is this why the entire map is gray? And she said, yes, I, I, that, has, that has nothing to do with it. At least it should. The reason why it's gray is because there's too many drivers out and there's not enough orders because... Ever since the unemployment has run out, the pandemic assistance, and there haven't been any more stimulus uh, checks, a lot of people were just chilling at home. They weren't working. So now people are scrambling to get jobs. People don't have the money that they had before. So they're trying to not, not spend money as much as they were. That's why there's a lot more 2 and 3 and $4 payouts going around out there. And that's why drivers are pulling their hair out. It totally makes sense. But just so you know, this is fraud. Okay, that's why whenever you get that order not delivered thing, I would say at this point, 90% of the time, it's legitimately fraud. It's not something that the driver did. It's not something that the dasher did. Now, I'm just curious, uh, Michelle and everybody watching right now in the chat or the comments, please comment down below and tell me how long you have been a dasher or how long have you been working in the gig economy? Please comment that right now. I'll give you a second to do that. Reason why I'm asking is because brand new drivers, Brand new dashes, because this is happening on Grubhub and Uber Eats, but DoorDash and Uber Eats seem to be the top two that this fraud seems to be happening on for whatever reason. I guess the, <laughs> I guess the scammers love those apps, you know? Um, but with that being said, if you are a newer driver, you're going to think this is your fault. Okay. And that's what makes it so absolutely disgusting because new drivers are like, no way. I know I dropped that off because the reason why fraud became like exposed was when drivers were starting their shift or their, their dash, they would drop off one order and they would be on the way to the next one. And then they would get the order not delivered thing. And they're like, wait a minute. I only dropped off one order and I saw the customer take it. How the hell is this possible? That's why it's fraud. And nothing but fraud. I don't I don't think there's a glitch. And if there is, somebody send me an email, paid to drive stories at gmail.com and I'll cover it. Okay. But yeah, so that's very strange. But Michelle, I hope you get that all worked out. Uh and yes, keep taking pictures, keep using your dash cam because that's what we need to do nowadays, because it's absolutely ridiculous. Also, make sure you guys are all subscribed to my other channel, Team PTD. Uh, we're trying to get it to a thousand subscribers. We're like a hundred away. So link is in the description. Make sure to turn on that notification bell and uh, all that stuff. Definitely go over there, watch the videos. There's more content like pay to drive and I will be adding more stuff. So 
Let me know in the in the comments or the chat if you're subscribed. Leave a comment saying subbed. There are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. As I mentioned, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you. 